hello friends welcome back to news app with react native tutorial series this is the third part of this tutorial so far we have learned that how we can build this ui where we have different tabs and how we can fetch the data from news api so if you haven't checked those videos i would highly recommend you first go ahead and see those tutorials after that come here and see this tutorial and right now if you look carefully over here then you can see that i am showing these new sources over here and beside that i am showing date and time also right so to display these details i have added this section in this data item .js file i have added a view for this and over here i have provided some styling and within this view i have given two text field so on the first text i am showing this data source dot name if you look into our api response we can see that source is available and within this source we have name field so that's why i am calling this data source dot name okay and after that i am showing the time news publishing date and time so the time is present within this published ad field so if you look into it over here we can see that there is a field called published ad right so i have displayed this over here so right now i want to do customization now it is showing date and time like this format but i want to show it like if it is published in five minutes ago then it will display five minutes ago or one hour ago this kind of message it will show without showing the date and time like this for this i need to use a javascript package called moments.js so over here we can see this so first of all we need to install it in our project so to install it we will use this npm install command so i have copied it and after that i am going to paste it and i will add sudo before this command for mac if you are on windows you don't need to provide this sudo command hit enter now it is asking me password now it will install the package so this has been installed properly now we can check our package.json file over here we can see the dependency right so now we need to use it over here for this I am creating a new component which is called time.js now within this time.js I am going to create a react native component and over here I don't need this style the file name would be time right and within this return I will return this text so I cut it from here and paste it here and i will import text from native base not from react native so within this i need to use moment.js and i need to format it as per our requirement if i go to this docs over here and go to this the display will be time time from now from here i can see that we need to use this in this format moment dot from now it will output the data like this a few seconds ago 45 seconds ago like this right so we will use this format so for this we need to pass some prop over here and for that i am creating a constructor this date equal to props dot time so i need to pass this time prop over this time component so first i need to import the time component over here so let me quickly import it now i can use it over here so time ago within this i can provide this time prop and over here i need to pass the value so it will be this data published at right so this is our prop 
and within this we are getting this data so now we can format our time as per our requirement so for this here i am creating a constant time and over here i need to use moment and i need to import it from moment so the format is moment from now and within this moment we need to provide the time right for this we can use this dot date if it is present then we will use this otherwise we will use moment now so if our date is present that means the time prop is present so we will fetch the time over here otherwise we will take the time as current time so for this we have used this moment now and we will format the data by using this from now so this is how we have formatted our time within this time constant now we need to display it over here now i saved it now reload it once so now we can see that our time has been formatted as per our needs we can see an hour ago two hours ago but it is not showing properly so now we need to give some space between these two so for that i will give some styling over here so we have provided some space in between these two now we can see and read clearly our data so that's how we have presented our data over here now we will create our model where our complete news will be displayed so if we click on this view button right now nothing is happening over here we will create a model if we click on this view then the complete news will appear on that model so that's what we are going to build today and before that also i want to do some customization over here as right now it is showing tab 1 tab 2 tab 3 but i want to change these to some categories like general business this kind of names so for that i need to go to this tab screen and within this tab screen i can provide tab header so it will be general next would be business and next would be technology now save it and reload it now we can see our tab heading has been changed and it looks quite nice so right now if we go into different tabs we cannot see any kind of data over there because we haven't provided the data currently we are developing one tab when we will complete the development of one tab then we will add the data for respective tabs as well right so right now we will create our model so for this i am creating another component over here which would be model.js and over here i am creating another component and it would be model component and over here also we don't need these styles so i removed it 